Hey everybody, this is Cliff, and today I want to show you six tips that I use in Adobe XD. Check it out. Tip number one, name your layers. This is an easy one just for future use for yourself and for whoever else touches your projects, you want to make sure they're named properly. Uh, for example, this button. I use a short term BTTN for button and search, so I know this is search button. You go down to the layers, you have the search layer. Uh, this is predetermined by whatever you type. And the element that is the button, I just call it button background. Next tip is tip two, create folders create groups, whatever you want to call them. I like to call them folders because they have little folder icons, but essentially you're grouping them and what you want to kind of have everything organized. So think, kind of think atomic, atomic design. So you want to make sure everything is in its own little group. That way it's easier to search out and you just don't have a giant list of different things. Tip three, structure elements. What you want to do here is essentially structure your elements top to bottom. How does your uh, document look? Uh, what I have here is the top portion, which has everything in this initial top portion. Sometimes people call it the banner area. That's fine, whatever. Uh, then I have down here the favorite section. And down here I have the browse. So it goes from top to bottom. And I kind of lay out the sections as I would like in a web page through HTML, CSS. Just kind of how it would look like in different sections. Like I would name this section top portion, this favorites, and this browse. Tip four, create symbols for reusable elements. Uh, this is something that's going to occur all the time. Uh, most commonly is the logo. So I made sure to make that a symbol because I know I'm just going to use it elsewhere in the project. Like over here and in the mobile views. And what this does is it makes sure, makes sure everything is nice and together. Tip five, color styles. This is kind of a big one, uh, especially if you're going to be using the same color over and over. And it's always good to have a style of color always. You never want to just kind of pick random colors. That would be bad. <laughs> and so what you want to do is you have your company color, your brand colors, whatever you want to call them. It just kind of keep them up here in your color palette so you can select whatever, whenever. Tip six character styles so this is a big one uh, especially if you plan repeating stuff over and over you want to keep it uh kind of nice and organized in your character style so quote copy got there and we have our distance so what i did there was just kind of re-put back together everything that was kind of out of place so it always it is always there and even if i want to change it so like example i want the distance to be uh yellow ish Change it right there. It changes everything for you. And that that's it. That is uh, my top six tips for using Adobe XD and how to keep your files organized. Hopefully that uh, helped you out and uh, you can use some of these tips later. And thanks again for watching and like this video if you found it very valuable for you. And uh, share it if you think someone else can use it. Alright, thanks for watching designers. See ya.